Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. One, welcome, everyone. We are over Georgia. Have you joined with us this morning, this afternoon, this evening, tonight, wherever you are across the world? God bless you. We, it's just an honor and a privilege just to share Jesus, just to make him known. And as a result of that, I come to rejoice and to praise God, standing firm upon his word. That put it and shakeable in the promises of God. And for those of you who have been going through fights and wars and tribulation and sorrow and pain, the enemy is at you. Enemy is at your back. My God, you can feel the very breath of the enemy at the, at, the, at the back of your neck. Let me tell you that there's hope in the Lord. God will fight for you. Can I tell you? God will fight for you. We will learn today how God defend the righteous. How God will send help for those with their backs against the wall. You can trust God. God bless you. We're overjoyed to have you with us today. We have to just go ahead, share the broadcast, amen, to somebody with anybody. Praise God that they as well can be blessed of the Lord. Right here on Prime Mountain, there is deliverance on the mountain. The anointing is on the mountain. Prayer is made on this mountain where we believe God, that God hears and not a prayer. He that cometh unto God, must believe that God is and that God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And so today, I believe that today is your day of deliverance, your day of breakthrough, your day of salvation. Hope has come in your direction. Jesus Christ is Lord and Master. And I've come to, to, to announce it across the world that Jesus saves, Jesus delivers, and Jesus set free. Whatever the condition you're in today, look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Would you not join me today in prayer as they approach the mercy seat of God? Amen. Let us all pray together wherever you are. But those who are coming online, God bless you. Those who are watching, those are in the silent zone, the Lord bless you. We're overjoyed to have you in the service. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. What a privilege to have you join with us today. Let us pray. Our oh, gracious God, my Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you are our God, the God of all might and power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Daniel, the God of the Bible, the God who has proven himself uh, over the centuries. My God, nations have proven you. Your people have proven you. The church has proven that you are your God all by yourself, and that not one of your promises will ever fail or come up short. Lord, we have absolute confidence in the faithfulness of God, in the ability and power of God. Lord, for those who are here on the broadcast today that need a word from the mouth of God, that need direction, that need, oh God, something to pick them up, my God, from where they are. Lord Jesus, for those who might be sitting in darkness, that need light in their direction. I pray, Lord, you shine today. Look here, them, oh God, and minister to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless you and I give the praise for the mighty touch of God even now. In Jesus' name, and everybody say amen. Can you say amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless you, Sister Shields. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. Amen. All right. Let's go right into the word. I want to go right into the word today. No delay. Oh, my God. Somebody must be delivered. Somebody must be set free. Glory. By the mighty hand of the eternal God. Can you bless the Lord, church? All right. Let's go to the word of God taken from the book of Psalm. 64, Psalm 64, praise God. Just 10 verses there. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him. And fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out 
iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, but the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. I want to read that again. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. All men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord. And shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. Hallelujah. And if I should use another theme, apart from what I have, the righteous shall be glad in the Lord because of his power. Hallelujah. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord because of his power. But I stick with the one I have already. For deliverance from the wicked. I want to look at the righteous that have God in their corner. We want to look at the, the wicked. And thirdly, we want to look at the God to whom the righteous call. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody bless God. The Bible tells us that God is a present help in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. There are, there are times when the righteous must approach God. One of the things that I love about God is that God has made himself accessible. That the child of God can come before him any time, whether day or night. No longer do we have to go through the high priest and carry turtle doves and bullocks and, and sheep because of the finished work of Jesus Christ. We can come boldly to the throne of grace and make your petitions or your requests be more be made known unto God. So the righteous have the privilege of talking to God about your concern, about your problems, about your sorrow, your pains, your disappointment, the rough patches of life, the storms that blow against you, all the sad days and nights, broken life, broken heart, broken marriages, and ultimately the wicked who plot the righteous. This is not something new that just happened overnight. But ever of old, the ungodly, the evil, the wicked, a wicked person is like unto somebody who continues to be evil or morally depraved. Oh, hallelujah. God bless everyone coming on. God bless you. Happy to have you. Sister Simmons and all the rest. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that the righteous today have a blessing plan with God. That God has made you a promise that he will never leave you nor forsake you. No matter how much the devil come against you and attack you. The Bible tells us that the weapon of our fear are not carnal, but that they're mighty through God. So they're pulling down a stronghold. When you are know that God is with you, the Holy Spirit He overshadows your life. The Holy Spirit will put up a barrier and a hedge around the life of the righteous. God is obligated by his word and promise to preserve the righteous. Am I making sense here today? I'm, I'm going somewhere. Hallelujah. So the righteous, the people of God, those who are turned the 
heart away from evil, from sin, the devil, and from uh, as godliness and the work of the flesh. Now, we know that the enemy will try to retreat in the book to get at you, to pull you down, to mess up your life, and to take you up before time. Hallelujah. Here we have the story from the Bible of the psalmist when they had to cry to God. I want to look at what the psalmist, the, the condition that he was in. Hallelujah. Maybe you might not be in that position or condition where your back is against the wall. I don't know where to turn. I'm not a some of us, we pray to God regularly. Sometimes we take, uh, I, I talked with someone, that, was it this week or last week? And she said, Pastor, I'm tired of praying. I prayed until I don't know what else to pray. I don't know how else to formulate my prayer. I've given God everything. And I simply said to her, my sister, that you to wait upon God. It's not that your prayer is not answered, but that God have a time to step in. God have a time when he will take control. The eyes of God continues to watch over you that your heart will not fail and that the enemy will not triumph over you. Oh, somebody bless God in the house. Hallelujah. So the psalm is writing, Hear my voice, O oh God, in my prayer. And the child of God, we understand that in a time of great danger, whether from domestic enemies or from those who rise up against you, from whatever location they will come, this is a word of trouble. This is a world of sin, a world where men have turned away from God, and women have turned away from God, nations have turned away from God. There's great spiritual darkness across the world. And as a result of that, the Bible tells us that men rather darkness than light because their deeds are evil. And as light has darkness, and evil is around. The wicked will see to flourish for a while. But God will step in. And we will come to that in a little while. When God will come to the rescue of the righteous. Somebody bless the Lord today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It may seem to us uh, many times that the ungodly seem to prosper. Everything seemed to be going in his heart. But the Bible said there's a time and a season for everything under the sun. So let them continue in their own ways. And while they continue on the wrong side of God, you continue to serve God. Set the heart, my God, to be at rest in God. Place your trust in the Most High. Whether you got a cry to God, amen, or tears become your meat night and day. There come a time when you got to open your heart and the Lord, this is more than I can handle. The enemies are upon me. Lord, they come against me from the east and the west and the north and the south. God, if you don't turn up to my rescue, I will be lost. But I say like Job, I know in whom I believe, and I'm fully persuaded that my God is able. My brother, and my sister, I come to tell you, the ability of God, amen, to lift you out, to move you out of that dungeon, from that dunghill, my God, to pluck your feet out of the neck that they set for you. They set snares to pull you down. The wicked have no compassion. The wicked have no love. The wicked show no mercy. They don't care who you are, whether male or female. 
still. When they are in the bed and the bricks, they have no compassion, no love. But we serve a God who promises to stand with you, to stand by your side, to rescue you. Oh, praise God. Let's pour my cry. Unto the Lord in his distress, and the Lord heard him and delivered him and saved him out of all his troubles. Shout a blessing on the Lord. Hallelujah. The wicked come in our sort, in our shape and size. Hallelujah. Even people you might even know can be involved. Kind of occult or, or dark secrets, amen, of demonic powers. The wicked, hallelujah, they even behave and seem normal and everything look all right. So fierce, beautiful, fierce, but the heart is bitter like God. The heart is cruel. The heart is devious, diabolical, but God will rescue his beloved. God will defend you. God will come to your rescue. I come to let somebody know that God knows your pain. God knows your sorrow. God knows you're at your wit's end. God knows your back is not going to work. God knows the mind. You, they laugh at you, they threaten you, they do all manner of evil that bring you down to intimidate you. My God, the morally they may bring you to where they want you, but God have a way and God have a plan to pick up the righteous and to turn you around. Hallelujah. What God has God come to your rescue? I cry unto the Lord in my distress and you heard me hallelujah I want to let you know it's not that God has not heard your prayer hallelujah but God has a timing God has a plan but they shall wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not fear to come on somebody hallelujah god will fight your battle hallelujah hallelujah god said in psalm 91 when the wicked start to fall only with an eye shall go see the reward of the wicked. For the Lord your God has set his love upon you. Can I tell you today that the love of God continue amen, to travel with you wherever you go? Fear not, my, my brother. Fear not, my sister. Help is on the way. I say, help is on the way. Oh, somebody bless God in the house. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So the son he cried out from a heart of despair. And I know today that there's some who is crying out to God. Lord, I don't know what else to do. I try to be kind to everybody. I try to be loving to everybody. Can I tell you that the wicked cannot accept love? The wicked cannot accept peace. But there is no peace for the wicked. No peace in the wicked. Only war continually is in their heart. They seek to devour, to destroy, and to put an end to the life and the livelihood of many. But God's eyes are open. The eyes of God is watching. And God will take him to the battle. God will bring you out. God will pluck your feet out of the net that they lay for you. My God Almighty, I feel a priest in this house today. Hallelujah. A prayer for deliverance. So David opened his sanctified mouth and said, oh, hear my voice, oh God. I want you today to follow David. Hear my voice, oh God, in my prayer. How many today can join the psalmist and they hear my voice, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, I know there are many voices across the world. There are many voices, amen, calling out to you. But God, I want you today to hear my prayer. Oh God, my prayer, my prayer, my prayer. Hallelujah. Lord, I 
want you today to preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Every turn I turn, the eyes of the wicked are watching me. Lord, I fear for my life. I fear for my safety. And so God today. I want you to hear my voice, oh God. I cannot go to the MP. I can't go to the politician. I can't go to some family members. But to you, oh God, I bring my petition. I bring my request. Hallelujah. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Hallelujah. Oh God, the Bible says, weeping men do for a night. But joy, oh God Almighty, I said joy will come in the morning. You, listen, you might not understand that possibly your night is about to become a thing of the past. And your dear friend is about the God Almighty. Hallelujah. Let me tell you my fear that dear break is coming. The sunrise is coming. The night got to go. Hallelujah. A turnaround is coming in your life. A miracle with the name is on it. Somebody bless God. Let me bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear my cry. Oh God. Listen, what did you in the word? Oh God. That's a language by itself. Oh God. The cry from the heart. Hear my cry. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Is there somebody online crying? Your heart is broken. Your life is in disarray. Your life seems to be in shambles. Nothing going right. The mark, the laugh. They cheer. Some expect you to have been dead already. And the one how come you are still alive. They have done everything they know. Everything they have been taught. Everything that they have told them to do. They bring you down. But God, to out out your night. To bring up your feet from under you. But somehow, by the grace of God and the power of the Holy Ghost, you are still alive. You are still here. Can I tell you, under God, you shall not be moved. You shall be like a tree that is planted by the rivers of living water. Shall help me, praise God. Come on, lift your voice and praise God. Boy, hear my cry, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I trust God today that I don't cry before the Lord. Even if people who have never seen you cry, they've always seen you with a, a, a lovely countenance and they don't know what you're passing through. Many people don't know what you're passing through. They don't know the hell you have been through. Some of you have been to hell and back. God Almighty, part. Then let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Many of us carry marks of the battles we have been in. We carry marks of the many fights we have been engaged in. But we are still here by the grace of God. And I've been for God on our side. The enemy will have continued to mock us and to cheer us. But my God, I will continue. The trust in the Lord, my God. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But my God, the righteous, even know the God they serve. Hallelujah. God is not a failure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear my cry. Oh, hallelujah. Lift hand at the Lord. Hear my cry today. Come on, say it again. Lord, come on. Address your prayer to God. Address your, oh God Almighty. Sometimes you don't need a long prayer. Hear my cry. Let me cry from the heart. Let me cry from deep down on the inside. Let me cry. Not even the devil understand. I know the cry and the pain of your heart. But we don't even 
know how we ought to pray, but the Holy Spirit of God, he made intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Oh God, hear my today and to you oh god i lift up my voice i lift up my trouble i lift up my pain i lift up my home i lift up my marriage i lift up my husband i lift up my wife i lift up my children oh god i lift up before you my business my documents my papers hallelujah somebody help me bless god hallelujah hear my cry Hear my cry. Listen, when you when you're in problem, and when the devil is hitting at you, it's not the time to be a pre cute prayer. There's a time to whisper a prayer, and there's a time to cry aloud unto God. Hallelujah. When the enemy is against you, you can't whisper prayer, but the prayer is urgent the matter is deep the concern is great but we need god intervention we need god to step into the situation outside of god we are helpless we need god we need god we need god a prayer for deliverance from the wicked and some of us have some wicked uncle. Oh God. When I go to the family area, some wicked stepmother, some wicked mother in law, wicked father in law, wicked brother, wicked cousin. Oh, hallelujah. You know what I'm talking about. But only God, only God, only God can deliver from the jaws of the wicked and the hand of the ungodly. I don't care where they come from. Maybe the Lord our God will come to your rescue. Come, Jesus, come, come, come. Hear my cry, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God gave me this word. But somebody going through, amen, some dark valley. You're going through some dark waters. They said, do I walk through the valley? Of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. But God, you are with me. Your right and the star, they comfort me. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. So David cried, Hear my voice, oh God. In my prayer, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. God, they are stronger than I. They have greater resources. They have Friends in our places. They know they how to block my progress. They have high-powered lawyers. Some are friends with the security forces. So wherever I turn, oh God, I find problem. Lord, I need you because I know you are greater. You are more powerful than the friends that they have. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh God of Daniel, God of Jacob, God of Elijah, in you I put my trust. In verse 2, they have said, Hide me, oh God, from the secret counsel of the wicked. Lord, I don't know where they are located. I don't know the plans they have against me. I don't know what I have done them. I don't know what they want from me. I don't know why they plot against my life. They plotted to take my substance. They plotted to take my children. They plotted to take my house. They plotted to take my piece of land. They plotted to take all that belongs to me. Oh God, my inheritance is that thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I need help. I need help. Is there somebody on the line? Oh God, who will lift to God today? Woo! My God, hallelujah. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Somebody just cry from me and say, oh God. Come on, say with me, oh God, oh God. 
Hide me, Lord. Hide me. From the secret council of the wicked. Even now, God, they are planning. Even now, they've gone to conference. Amen. To make plans out of part of their plans. Amen. To shred themselves against your servant, against your daughter, against your son, against the church, against the body of Christ. Lord, I don't know what they're planning, but oh God, you can journey you can find them you can locate them where they are oh god i, I cry to you from the depth of my soul i cry to you for my little understanding lord i am helpless and ready to die but i call upon you the god of my salvation i will lift up my eyes unto the hills from where cometh my help oh hallelujah my god I'm a strong God. You're my help. You're my strength. Strength like no other. Hallelujah. If you don't come quickly, God, then put out my light. But I trust in you. You're a present help in the time of trouble. Somebody help me bless God. Hallelujah. So, God, I have a request. Oh, God, my first request. Was to hear my prayer. Oh God. And my second request. Was to preserve my life. From the fear of the wicked. Lord my third request. Are you listening. Brothers and sisters. Amen. Prior. Oh God to help you. David brought a third request. In the heart. From the secret counsel. Of the wicked. In other words God. I don't know who they are in their corner. I don't know who they are friends with. Maybe some of their friends, maybe some of my friends are known to me. But because I don't have what to give them, like what the enemy has to give them, they may take, they may play against me. They might have been sold out already. They have been bought by the enemy to bring an early end to my life. So God, hide me from the friend enemy. Hide me from the pretenders. Hide me, oh God, from the secret counsel of the wicked. Oh God, hide me, God, hide me, hide me. Hide the Holy Ghost, hide me. If there's somebody on the line, you need God to hide you from the counsel of the wicked. Hallelujah, God. You wonder why you're not prospering. The counsel against you, the black power. The doctor is all in trust. The black power. They have been to the bank. The black power. The car is the loan. They have been to the car. The black power. You can't get a car. Hallelujah. But God, I want you today to hide me from the counsel of the wicked. Is there somebody? You need God to hide you. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, when God hides your friend, don't worry yourself. I said, when God hides you, don't worry yourself. Oh, God. But they can't find you. They cannot find you. God is not a tear bearer. God not carry news. God not snitch on his friends. You cannot buy out God. You can't be a God. When God hide you, hide me, oh God, in the secret place of the Most High. Hallelujah. Let the right hand of God rest upon me. Oh, let the, let the, the presence of God hide me. As a mother hen hide her cheeks. Hide me, oh God. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, hide me, hide me, hide me. Even while I'm speaking, God, hide me. I don't know. Amen. Who is against me? Let's share my hand the same way. Let's marry the same way. We're hugging church together. Hallelujah. David said, If was an enemy that struck me, I would have borne it. But my own family, friends, hallelujah, God. Can I preach to somebody today and call us to a prayer mountain? You need a prayer. Amen. Of the liberal 
hearts from the wicked who oppress you. My God Almighty, are you oppressed? Are you depressed? Are you troubled and heavily then? Come with a love and care because of what the wicked have done to you. Some of you can't eat like before. Your appetite gone. You can't even think rationally as you should and could. You are intelligent. But of late, understanding seems to have departed from you. My God, soberness seems to have been gone. You're suffering from fatigue. You're suffering from being burnt out. The constant barrage of the enemy. The constant batteration from the enemy. Hallelujah. From the mouth and other places. The provocation from all sides. Had not been for God on your side. You'd have planned it in a long time. Hallelujah. But can I tell you something today? That under God, you're coming out as pure gold. Many are the affliction of the righteous. But the Lord will deliver him out of them all. And when you are tried, you shall come out as pure gold. Shout, shout, hallelujah. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. So, David, request from God to hide me. How many need God to hide you? I need God to hide me sometimes. Oh, glory to God. Somebody, oh, my glory to God. Hallelujah. David said, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From an insurrection of the workers of iniquity. They have no heart. Their, their heart is dark. The light of God not shine on them. Mercy no walk with them. Grace no walk with the wicked. The Bible said, Psalm 64, verse 3. They wet their tongue like a sword. And they bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter. When you think of some people today, their tongue is sharp. Their tongues are dangerous. You don't know who to trust anymore. But the same tongue that greets you nicely is the same tongue that can spy against you secretly, privately. The tongue has been bought. Remember, a piece of rice and peas and bought for a few dollars. My brothers, my sisters, let not bury your tongue. Oh, Jesus. Don't sell your tongue. Let nobody bury your fire your tongue. That kill the news, that tell lies, to victimize your brethren, your family, your neighbor. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Help me today. The wicked are all around us. They come in different size and shape. Oh, glory. I know I won't get much air in today. <laughs> oh, God Almighty. I have some friends. <laughs> oh, God, but it's all right. It's all right. I put them in who I can't deal with personally. I put them before God. As I put them before God. Back a human being can get to the place that your tongue become like a sword. A sword don't care who he strikes. A sword don't show mercy. A sword have no love, no compassion. 
a sword is meant to destroy, to put to an end the life of somebody. What things of people today are walking between man and the same. <clears throat> Some tongues have lied to the lawyer to take away your piece of land, to take away your house. But that tongue became a sword. You can't believe that you were thriving, doing well. Somebody jealous, bitter, covetous, bad mind, used their, their tongue. To devise mischief against you, to steal from you. They wet their tongue like a sword, and every sword that goes into battle is stained with blood. Can I tell you today? If this message hits you. And somehow your tongue shall be blood, you're in danger. If your tongue, oh God, if you have used your tongue to bring down the innocent, you have used your tongue to get things you didn't work for. God is gonna judge somebody. God eyes are watching. Hallelujah. They wet their tongue. Like a sword, and they get ready to show the arrows. The one who show the arrows tend to be hidden. You can't see them. You don't know where they're located. They shoot at you privately. You wonder sometimes why you have so much pain in your heart. Somebody arrow of bitterness. Somebody of jealousy, somebody arrow of intimidation. Oh God, I've hit your body, but God will come by you. God will pick you up. God will lift you up from the dungeon and from the dust heap. God is the restorer. Oh glory. This is an overdue message for somebody. Hallelujah. Some people, no matter how much you preach, they're not going to change. They wear the label and go to churches. But go to church, don't change your heart. Wear new clothes, don't change your heart. New suit, new dress, heart stopping. Hallelujah. That not change your heart. What change your heart in the blood of Jesus Christ? What change your heart is a new life. When people can get to the place when their tongue becomes sold out to the enemy, hear me today on this broadcast. If the devil get the chance to use your tongue, then it's destroy many. Can I tell you that what goes around comes around? What goes up will come down. Whatsoever my soul. That shall the author reap. If we need to make restitution, if we need to beg pardon and to beg forgiveness, because of what you have used your tongue to do, to spread rumor and propaganda, to tell lies on your neighbor, to take your neighbor property by force, God is coming after you. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, the wicked, the wicked. The wicked have the day before God. The wicked will have the day in court before the God of heaven who judge justly, who judges righteously. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is going on? But God is getting ready. Is that them people not trouble them bitter words? If you are saved, if you are born again, sweeten your word, bitter word to work with God. The tongue that you bitter word, your precious and life. The tongue that went like a sword, your prayers got no place. When your tongue become bones, to shoot arrows, your prayer not going.
going nowhere. Verse 4, Psalm 64. They wet their tongue like a sword, bend their bow and shoot their arrows, even be the word. That the rings in the cause, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, or the upright, or the righteous, or the child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God Almighty. My brothers and sisters, God is sending you this message today. To make you aware of the fight, the struggles, the wars that the child of God is in. But we rest not against the devil. Amen. Which are politics of power, but against rules of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. There are some people. They don't show themselves so they can be identified. They lurk in the shadows. They watch you from secret places and secret corners. They watch for your weak moment. Then they attack when you're vulnerable. Hallelujah. That then they shoot at the righteous. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I'm set to the child of God today. To put my on the word armor of God, to lift the shield of God. When you do that, you're able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked, for the darts are coming, coming on a rapid basis, left, right, and center. Do you understand what you are going through? Do you understand the pain you are in even now? The wide variety of arrows. They shoot at you, but you don't see the shooters. Oh, Jesus. This is no time to give up. No time to pack it in. The enemy is desperate because he can't get you. He has watched and waited and looked to see you bowed and broken. But you're still standing strong in the grace of God. That the devil resort to another means of attack. But the armor that God gives you is sufficient to keep you from every dark of the wicked. Can I preach up somebody in the house? Oh, God Almighty. Some of you who are watching, you need to say something. Because all of us are in the same battle. All of us have the same devil against us. All of us in the same war zone. Come out of the secret and say amen. Come out and say praise the Lord. I preach the servant of God. Preach. So we should be praying for me right now that, the, that God through the Holy Spirit can expose the enemy and the tactics of the devil against you. I don't understand how some of you are so quiet. Say something. Are you so secure you're not going to say nothing? Okay. Don't believe you are too secure. That the enemy can't find a way to attack you. We are all in this together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Amen. That may shoot at the secret. Shoot this at the perfect. Suddenly, do they shoot at him? Listen, those who are shooting arrows in secret, the fear of God is not in their heart. They are not concerned who they shoot at. They're not concerned who get hurt. They're not concerned who they send to the hospital. They're not concerned who end up in the mug. The wicked is just wicked. I pray God. But the Lord just showed me a while ago. I just got a revelation. 
that there are some who are accepting gift from the wicked, accepting money from the wicked to remain silent. Some are accepting gift, not a prayer, radical prayer. Some get gift from the godly, not to turn up the fasting. Some accept gift from the wicked to turn the eyes another direction. Hallelujah. God has seen the plot of the wicked. God has seen the righteous who have joined forces with the ungodly. You may want to run now, but that's all right. There are some who are eating from the pot of the ungodly. Shall receive monetary reward. God Almighty. Whoa. God knows who you are. God knows your plan. And God can pull the rug from under your feet. God can slam the door shut. You cannot eat from the table of the godly and eat from the table of the Lord. Oh, Jesus. When the righteous make friends with the wicked, when the righteous become friendly with the ungodly, it will pull you down. It will kill you. It will bring you to an early end. What fellowship does the righteous have with the unrighteous? What You can't link up with the wicked who seek to destroy the people of God. And some of the taking gift. You may want to run now. That's all right. The voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Every mountain shall be brought low. Every crooked place made straight. If you want to run, run. Me not stop you. But you'll never get away from the word of God. I said to you today. Break every association with the ungodly. Break <laughs> off the friendship. Break it off. Walk away. Give up the gift. Give up the money. Give up the car. Give up the apartment. Get back to life straight. You don't like my preaching? Hallelujah. Some of you need this kind of preaching. Some of you are living on the edge. Taking risks with your salvation. And if you join up with the wicked, you'll be in the judgment of God. Separate yourself. Hey, my God. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost said to tell you, separate yourself from the ungodly. And when the judgment of God begins to fall, you will not be in it. Escape for your life. God Almighty. Hey, Jesus. You take secret drinks and you don't know what even in the drinks. Some of you are pregnant for the ungodly. And what are you going to run now? You're for the ungodly. You sleep with the ungodly. They stay in the job where you don't know what has been deposited in your body and in your spirit. You cannot link up our connect. With the ungodly among them. Be separated. Oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a day of decision. You must decide whose side you are on. Who is on the Lord's side. Let him come over. All them Christian people. Who live double standard life? Who do things in the secret, in the dark? The word of God that I tell you, whatever done in darkness will come out in the light. 
He that covered his sin shall not prosper. Sin is a reproach unto any man, but righteousness exalts a nation. God, who am I preaching to today? Sin will strip you naked. Sin will embarrass you. Sin will mess up your life. Why some of you quiet today? You're quiet, you're quiet. You're too quiet. Am I hitting your corn? I'm dropping a bomb in your life. A holy God bomb exploding. A holy God grenade. Oh God Almighty, break up your funny ground. Come out and separate yourself. God, give me strength. Holy Ghost, cover me, cover me. Cover me, Holy Ghost. He that have an ear to hear, let him hear what God is saying to the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help me today, Holy Ghost. This is what the Bible says. Verse, Psalm 64, verse 5. For those that are just coming on, we're in the book of Psalm 64. Verse 5 says, They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They come, they can come. God help me. How can the heart of man Become so vile, desperately wicked, when people can encourage themselves in an evil matter. God help me here. Hey. You never know that God that catch up on you. You never know that God that catch up on you today. When people can get to the place. To encourage yourself in God. Holy Ghost, I ask you right now as I lift my hand to God. To send some Holy Ghost bangle. Arrest some Christian. Holy Ghost, I send you today. To make some arrests. Lock down some Christian. And some of God are being pulled and in vigor. Arrest their steps that they may not fall down in the traps and the snare of the wicked. Some are being seduced. Some that they will lay a care out before you and put you in, dry you in. Hallelujah. Do not get to the place where you encourage yourself. In ungodly activities, God will deal with your case. Do not encourage yourself and others. Walk away, step away, run from them, escape for your life. You cannot have an evil association with the ungodly people that encourage themselves in evil continuously. Hi, hi, hi. Mm. God, I feel this in my soul. I feel this, I feel it. Hallelujah. The word of God says, they in the word they in a plural form, they more than one. So that means there are a set of people, a group, a company, or a clique. That encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune their reason and play sneers privately, secretly. And God has them saying, Who shall see them? The wicked reason among themselves. They have no idea that God is what. Them. Let the woman see us. Oh, child of God, anytime you miss the mark, any activity you do outside of God, I mean, God is watching you. I call you under God and the Holy Ghost to break up your funny ground, break off from sin, walk away from sin. What shall we say then? 
So we continue in sin that grace abound. God forbid, oh, we that are dead to sin, live any longer therein. We must be dead to sin and alive unto God. Boy. Mm. Wow. The kitchen is getting hot. Heat in the place right now. Hallelujah. And even some of us in the church, we fear to consider that when we step outside of God's holiness, we are joining forces with the ungodly. And they say, who will see us? And, and listen, a lot of sin happening in our churches. Some of us know what is going on and choose to remain silent or pay to keep quiet. Some walk away and find another church. But listen, the day is fast approaching that judgment shall not begin first in the house of God. Don't be surprised. God dropped judgment at some of our churches. Pastor said, man, don't preach about judgment in our churches. The word of God says that judgment shall begin first in the house of God. The same Bible you read is the same Bible that declare what God is about to do. So if you know that you're innocent, this don't bother you. If you know that you're clean, this won't trouble you. But if you if you are messed up and damaged, and the same color that color the wicked color you, you know that you you're in some serious problem with God. Oh, glory to God! Hallelujah! So David pray because he know he knows the wicked what they're capable of. There's nothing new under the sun. Hallelujah. Verse 6 says, They shall shout iniquities. They try to figure out who can do the worst wickedness. They accomplish a diligent search. But the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. God Almighty. They plan, they plan, they strategize to go the wrong direction. But there come a time when God will say, Enough is enough. Here we find verse 7. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Is the inverse four? The same wicked shoot at the righteous, but God turned the tables, and that God is getting ready to turn the table against the wicked. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow, and suddenly they shall be wounded. No, the difference. When the wicked shoot at you, is a plan to wipe you, a plan to kill you. But God is merciful. When God shoot at you, at the wicked, is just to wound you, so that you can have remorse and that you can repent. But God. Shush. Listen, when God shoot, it no miss. And God, by faith right now, God light up with his bow and arrow, point at the wicked. God can release the arrow any day, any hour, any time, any minute. Maybe even now, an arrow is released against some wicked. God has Oh, Jesus. Verse 8 says, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. In other words, what they plan against you with their own tongue, whatever they plan against you, God shall reverse it. God will send it back against them. Oh, God. 
and those who know them, who have seen them, and God's response, all oh, that see them shall run away from them. God Almighty. And all men shall fear and shall declare the word of God. For they shall widely consider his doing. But God don't think like man and operate like man. The ways of the Lord are past. You know, his ways are higher than always, and his thoughts above our thought. The work of God to deliver the righteous from the wicked. Hallelujah. Verse 10 The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart. Shall glory God will come true. God is an untimed God, He may be four days late, but they'll be right on time. A prior for deliverance. God heard the prior, God took up the challenge, and God shoot at the enemy. Today, let the voice cry to God. Whatever you're passing through, whatever is happening in your life that is more than you, more than you can handle, God, enough is enough. Lord, I need a turnaround. Lord, I need a breakthrough. Lord, I need deliverance in my life. Lord, the enemy has done many things against me. But God, I know that in the hand of God is restoration. In the hand of God, there's breakthrough. Whatever the canker worm and the palmer worm and the caterpillar have done, God can restore it. God, your promise in your word. I will do a new thing and a quick work. God, I pray for my people watching and listening that God will do a quick work in their life. This Wednesday afternoon, today's what right, the 27th. The 27th of March, 2024. Hallelujah. That God will come true. 1241 in Jamaica, 141 in some countries. God is about to break through that darkness. God is about to cause and create a, 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 a far, a shift. Mark emotion. That a shift. Coming in your direction. Power is released. Anointing is released. The wicked will be under your feet. God said you don't need to fight in this battle. But the Lord God shall fight for you. God is your strength. And your shield. I just heard a, a, a verse of scripture that enter my spirit. God said to tell you. All that they have done to you, don't fight them. Don't try to do anything against them. God said, vengeance is mine. I will repent, said God. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him drink. When you do that, you heap a coal of fire upon your head. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, vengeance is mine. No fight them, no fight them. Let God fight your battle. Let God fight your battle. You get the chance, read Psalm 64 again. And what God come to for you. Apply this psalm to your life. Apply the word. Hear my prayer, oh God. Jesus. Pray with a passion. Pray with earnestness. Pray with a burden. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. God still answers prayer. He that cometh unto God, he will in no wise cast out. 
is to come unto me all in that labor and I heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God wants to give you rest from your enemy. You need it. You need a break. Oh God, shut on the line. You need a break. Not break up. Not broken to pieces. You need a break from it all. A break from the wicked. A break from the slander and the tongue of the ungodly. You need a break. God knows you need a break. And a break and a breakthrough is coming in your direction. Trust God today. God never said an idle word. There's a method behind the message. God is coming through. God bless you. Bless you, Sister Avis. God bless you, man. The Lord knows how to comfort the righteous, how to strengthen the righteous. The Holy Spirit, our helper. The Holy Spirit, our paraclete. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Even now, he overshadows the righteous. The Lord bless you, saints of God. The Lord bless you, God the Christian. The Lord bless you, my brothers and sisters. I pray God encourage you. I pray that God strengthen you. I pray God your hope in God will come alive and that God plant your feet upon the rock. Hey God, the star clouds are raging, but God is speaking to your storm even now. He said, peace, be still. God will give you peace in the midst of your storm. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Oh God. Holy Ghost, I pray that right now your hands are raised upon everyone watching and listening that need help, that need counsel, that need wisdom, that need a Holy Ghost embrace, that need the love of God to overshadow them. Lord, fill their heart with love and mercy grace and compassion. Lord, do a new thing in the life of your children. Lord, many are weary, worn and sad. Many, oh God, oh God, have been battered and bruised by the enemy. Oh God, I pray today that you're pouring the oil and the wine. Come back in Jesus with the love of God. I bless you and I praise you. And I give you all the glory. For indeed you are worthy. Lord, we thank you for the word. We thank you for the anointing. Holy Spirit of God, without you I can't do nothing. I thank to you that you are able to touch this lump of clay to bring hope of oh God in the life of your children. The strength of the body of Christ, especially in the last and trying days. Oh God, do a new thing for them today. Lord, I turn around. Give somebody a brand new testimony. Oh God, let their joy be full today. In the name of Jesus, is that they that sow in tears shall reap in joy, shall remain joy for a night, but joy comes in the morning, for the name of the Lord is the strong tower. Oh, the righteous run into it, and they are safe. God, be a safety net for your children. Lord, for those who are thirsty and dry, take them down to the fountain, Lord, to so carry them down to still waters. Oh, God, feed them as a good shepherd. Strengthen them, God, until they get back on their feet. Strength from the throne of God. Power from the Most High. In the name of Jesus, stabilize them, balance them, reinforce them. Oh, God, be the anchor in their life and the shield of their heart. I bless you, my God, and I give a praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Hallelujah. 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 If you're there today and you're not saved, you're not saved. You're not a Christian. You need Jesus. The wicked have their day before God. And the righteous have their day. Time to leave the side of the ungodly. Join up with Jesus. Come to Jesus just as you are. Mercy 
and grace is open to you right now. Come. Come to Jesus. No longer delay. Behold, I stand at the door right now. Can you hear my voice and open and come in and sup with him and hear with me? Let Jesus fix it for you. He knows just what to do. You have tried everything and everything failed. But today, Jesus wants to fix it for you. Create a miracle and a change in your life. You have been desiring, praying, hoping, dreaming about. Today, God can fix your life. And give you something to hold on to. Let Jesus become the reason for living. The anchor of your soul. With the heads bowed and eyes closed, pray this prayer with me right now. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you, O oh God, needing your salvation. I'm a sinner, a backslider. I've lived in sin far too long. But now, O oh God, I come to you broken, confessing my sins. I ask you, Lord, to save me. Stay me at the cross. Deliver me. Set me free. And Lord, I now accept you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have made that decision to follow Jesus, please give me a call. Using the prior line number, you just passed the scrolling number, 876-784-9799. Pastor, I've accepted Jesus and I want to follow him all the way. I want to follow the Lord in water baptism. I want to show the world that my time has come to serve God. I want to follow Jesus. I want to follow Jesus all the days of my life. Please give me a call or find a pastor where you are. Find a Bible believing church and they will teach you, guide you, instruct you further in the way of salvation. Jesus is coming soon. Don't get left. But be on the right side of eternity. Hallelujah. For those who are watching this broadcast and you have not yet subscribed on our YouTube channel, we're going to ask you, please go over to YouTube right now and just type in my name on YouTube, Eric Stedman, and just click that subscribe button. If you have subscribed already, you don't need to subscribe again. All right? God bless you. Join me tonight. When we return to landmark Bible studies, oh glory, oh my God, mm -hmm. oh God, you need to be here tonight. There's something the Lord put on my heart. I want to discuss on Friday night with another Bible study. Somebody asked my request Friday night, Pastor, please do some teaching on a particular subject, and I'm going to be going on that this Friday. Amen. Praise God. God bless you, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Please share the broadcast. Share the broadcast and please give the thumbs up, the like, and the and the YouTube page. Amen. And if those are watching on Facebook, just skip over to YouTube because we are moving over to YouTube slowly but surely. Please don't get left out. So when you subscribe on the YouTube channel, when we go live, you'll be notified. Amen. We don't want to miss any of the blessings of the Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. And before I go, if the Lord has spoken to you to be a financial blessing, a giver, the Lord loveth a cheerful giver. You want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can contact me or you can give on the PayPal account on the scrolling screen just below my tie coming up. You'll see the information paypal.me slash Eric Stedman. Amen. Or contact me. Pastor, I want to give something. I want to contribute something, whether cash or kind, or even a new laptop or a car or a, or, um, a camera. I want to build up the studio for the glory of God. You have a heart for God. You're watching. You have a heart for evangelism. You have a heart for the lost and dying. Let us unite together. Let us work together. Let's labor together. Amen. Let us let us partner together. That's what I'm looking for. Let us partner together for the glory of God. Reach out and give me a call. 
on the prior line number. If you call me right now, I'll answer the phone is here waiting. Amen. Seven, um, 876 is a Jamaica number. It's a Jamaica number. You can call straight if you're in the States or Canada, or wherever you can call straight, depending on your plan. Amen. Or if you want to call on the WhatsApp, 876 784 9799. If you call me now, if you call right now to test it if it's working, this phone will ring. Amen. Pastor, I want to be a blessing. I want to be a blessing. I want to bless your ministry. It has been a blessing to me. It's been a blessing to my church, my family, and my ministry. And I want to return the favor. I want to reciprocate. Do what is in your heart. Whatever God tells you to do, do it. Do what God tells you to do in the name of Jesus. You're not paying God. You're not paying the ministry, but you're enhancing the ministry to have a greater reach that it can expand further, getting people ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is our main focus, getting men and women and children rapture ready. Amen? Walking in holiness. All right, God bless your journey this evening. Lord Taris at 6.45, quarter to 7, Jamaica time, quarter to, to 8, North America time. Amen. All right. God bless you, everyone. Have a God bless rest of the afternoon. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for sharing. Love you all with the love of God. And thank you for the comments. I've seen some wonderful comments. God bless you. Thank you so much. I'm encouraged. And if there's something you want me to do, um, drop it in the comment. Some I might have missed. Listen, once we can work together, you know, I, I don't know everything. Let me say that I don't know everything. And I'm neither am I perfect, but my father is perfect. My father God is perfect. The Holy Spirit is perfect. So as a, as a human, I might miss some areas that you have seen that I need to tighten up on. Or something that I can explore. Some areas I can dig in or give attention to. Let me know. Together, we can go places. Amen? For the glory of God. All right, everyone. God bless you. Thank you so much for being here. See you later. Lord willing. God bless you. Shalom. Thank you so much for being here. In Jesus' name.